What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mesha and in today's video I want to walk you through everything you need to know about murmurs. I think knowing murmurs is super important not only for your cardiology section for your didactic year but it's also everywhere in your EORs when you uh, during your clinical year. You will find them during your pediatric uh, EORs, you'll find them in the EOR, you'll find them in internal and family medicine. So knowing your murmurs and how to separate one from another, how to recall them fast is super super important. So for me, I created my fast recall questions when I was studying from a pen spread pearls rush review and my school uh, study guides and basically just write down like what's the most you know common murmur in, in a childhood like being a stills murmur or it could be like little things like how do you separate the uh, rumbling from blowing murmurs uh, which locations all these little things you'll find in the slideshow that I'm going to show it to you today and by end of this video you should know your murmurs super well and you should be able to ace that EOR on the murmur section so go ahead and uh, check out this book on the EORs it's over 3800 questions with everything related to the EORs it has helped me tremendously and I believe it'll help you as well so without further ado congrats on making it through the didactic year you're gonna do great in your clinical year treat your clinical rotation like your job interviews because you don't know where your job is going to come when you graduate so every one of the connections you make in that clinical year could be super beneficial down the road so without further ado let's start a slideshow on the murmurs here we go guys number one what kind of murmur is aortic regurgitation ar aortic regurgitation aortic regurgitation is a diastolic discrescendo blowing keyword being blowing at the left upper stellar border. The way I remember this is blowing murmurs, I think about regurgitation, either aortic or mitral. And the way I remember this is I say the wind is blowing the strongest in the AM. A stands for aortic and for mitral. And another one is to blow the roof off, where the roof stands for regurgitation. And the next I look at where the murmur is located. And if it's in the left upper stellar border, it's aortic. Mitral stenosis is what kind of murmur diastolic rumble best heard at the apex rumble i think about stenosis either mitral or aortic next look where is it located if it's a right upper stenal border it's aortic the most common cause of aortic stenosis in the united states calcified aortic stenosis due to the aging aortic stenosis presentation triad so when I talk about aortic stenosis presentation triad, I think about ASH, angina, syncope, and a heart failure. The most common cause of mitral stenosis, rheumatic heart disease. A most common complaint in the mitral stenosis, dyspnea. Aortic stenosis is best heard at which location? Right upper sternal border. Where does the aortic stenosis murmur radiate? carotids. What kind of pulse is seen with aortic stenosis? Narrow pulse pressure. Narrow pulse in a question about murmurs always answer aortic stenosis. Aortic stenosis treatment. Valve replacement. Paradoxical split S2. If they talk about paradoxical split S2 in a question, you should answer aortic stenosis. What kind of heart failure is seen with the mitral stenosis, right-sided heart failure. And mitral stenosis, I just remember as miss, and I would say she's the right miss for my heart. So right, right-sided right miss mitral stenosis for my heart. The only murmur associated with a hemoptysis, coughing blood, will be mitral stenosis. And the way I remember this is, miss, why are you coughing blood? Coughing blood, Mitral stenosis. Miss, why are you coughing blood? Syphilis is associated with which murmur? Aortic regurgitation. What kind of pulse pressure is seen with aortic regurgitation? Wide pulse pressure. Remember that aortic stenosis is narrow and aortic regurgitation will be wide. Another way I remember this is ASN ARW. Patients with a head bobbing has what murmur? Aortic regurgitation. It is Demuset sign. Are you really head bobbing? Are you really head bobbing, sir? A water hammer pulse is seen with what murmur? 
aortic regurgitation again. And the way I remember it is, a water hammer pulse caused his head to bobble. What is the most common cause of mitral regurgitation? Mitral valve prolapse. MVP causes MR, mitral regurgitation. MVP, mitral valve prolapse. Mitral regurgitation murmur radiates where? It will radiate to the axilla. Mitral regurgitation heart sound wildly split S2. Keyword being wildly split S2. Mid to late systolic ejection click is seen with which murmur? Ejection click is seen with the mitral valve prolapse. MVP. And the way I remember this is MVP players, they just click. So if the question talks about ejection click, I just look for mitral valve prolapse. Mitral valve prolapse treatment. It's a beta blockers. So another one that will benefit from beta blockers is Hocum. Uh, Hocum and MVP both can use beta blockers. Beta blockers for best bowlers and MVP. Harsh rumble sound are associated with which murmurs? Aortic stenosis and mitral stenosis. Blowing sounds are associated with which murmur? Remember, the wind blows the strongest in the AM and will blow the roof off. AR, MR. Most common innocent murmur in early childhood? Steele's murmur. Which murmurs are seen with endocarditis? Aortic regurgitation and a mitral regurgitation. What two murmurs are most associated with atrial fibrillation, AFib? Mitral regurgitation and mitral stenosis. And the way I remember this is just like the movie, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I just remember Mr. and Mrs. AFib. Aortic regurgitation leads to what? A wide pulse pressure and the pistol shot pulses. Aortic stenosis causes which pulses? Pulses parvus and pulses tardis. If the patient presents with a fever and a new murmur, that should make you think of what? endocarditis. Which echo should be done for endocarditis? TEE. -E. Endocarditis drinks tea. Where does the mitral stenosis murmur radiate to? Nowhere. Mitral stenosis does not radiate anywhere. The opening snap, the opening snap being a key word in a question, is associated with which murmur? Mitral stenosis and remember, I remember mitral stenosis is miss. So this, I remember as miss said, oh, snap. Oh, snap. So snap, mitral stenosis. Most common type of congenital heart disease. VSD, ventricular septal defect. VSD is heard best where? Left lower sternal border. Loud, high-pitched, harsh, holystystolic murmur. VSD, high-pitched, harsh, holosystolic murmur. Machine-like murmur. You should be thinking about patent ductus arteriosus. And I just think about like PDA machine. Somebody would like have a lot of PDA in the public and it's like a PDA machine. So I just think PDA machine. Patent ductus arteriosus PDA diagnostic test. That would be an echo. PDA treatment, IV indomethacine. Blowing murmurs are, once again, let's see if you remember this, blowing in the morning, blow the roof off. Murmurs that end in a letter R, it's another way to remember that. Anything that blows ends up in a letter R, A-R, M-R. Rumble murmurs are, murmurs that end in a letter S, A-S, M-S. Pulmonary hypertension is seen with which murmur? Mitral stenosis. Again, miss is coughing blood and she may have pulmonary hypertension. Congenital rubella syndrome is associated with which murmur? Rubella is associated with which murmur? Pulmonary stenosis. Pulmonary stenosis treatment. Balloon valvoplasty. Pulmonary gets a balloon. What's the Carvalho sign? Increased murmur intensity with inspiration. Which murmurs are seen with endocarditis? 
AR and MR. Are you MR endocarditis? Are you Mr. Car endocarditis? Atrial fibrillation and mitral stenosis are commonly causes of thrombus formation. So if they talk about murmurs and a thrombus formation, uh, you're going to think about AFib and mitral stenosis. All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of this uh, slideshow about murmurs. I hope you found that helpful. Uh, if my stories are confusing, please ignore them. Stick to what works for you. Perhaps even create your own. Uh, stick to what works for you, but hopefully this was super helpful to you as it was to me. Uh, please go ahead and check out my uh, Physician Assistant Study Buddy book series. Uh, there's a pants, there's end of rotation, and there's one for didactic, and they're full of questions like this that cover every aspect of your PA school. Stay safe, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.